The man used a small knife to pry apart his glasses and stack the two lenses on top of each other. Then, he reached for some pine pollen from a nearby tree, chewed it into a paste, and smeared it between the two lenses, creating a makeshift magnifying glass. Next, he inserted a piece of hollow grass into the lens setup and filled it with saliva. Carefully, he found some dry grass and used the magnifying lens to focus sunlight on it. Under the intense light, a wisp of smoke began to rise. Quickly, he added twigs and small branches to build up the flame. But just as the fire started to grow, he suddenly grabbed his water cup and doused the flames completely. He pulled out his knife again and began digging into the scorched area. Wedged deep into the rock was a nail and iron spike driven firmly into the ground. The other end of it was shackled to the man's ankle. It turned out that he had tried to desert during a battle. As punishment, his commanding officer had chained him to the battlefield, ensuring he would either fight to the death or die trying. Before leaving, the officer gave him just enough food and ammunition to survive a while longer. The man had already tried using bullets to break the chain, but it hadn't worked. Luckily, he was resourceful. He went back to burning the rock and extinguishing it repeatedly using heat and cold to weaken it over time. Suddenly, the sound of a fighter jet overhead made his heart race. Fearing discovery, he doubled down on his efforts, burning and digging faster. Soon, he had exhausted nearly all the flammable materials around him. Desperate, he tried to yank the nail out, but it wouldn't budge. He collapsed against the rock, trying to think. Then, another idea hit him. He dismantled a bullet, emptied the gunpowder into an old can, and scooped out the charred remains from earlier burns. He added the powder and some dry grass, then lit the mix and tossed it into a hole he had dug. Hiding under a rock and covering himself with his coat, he waited. A sharp crack echoed above him. After a few moments, he got up and pulled at the chain, the nail had finally loosened. Overjoyed, he used the strap of his rifle to hook and drag a nearby rock toward him. With both hands, he began hammering at the nail from different angles. When he could hit it no more, he wrapped his hands in his shirt for grip braced himself and yanked with all his strength. At last, the nail gave way. The man cried out in triumph. He had broken free. But just as he thought he'd escaped the worst, the desolate battlefield of the Soviet front revealed a new, hidden danger, one no one had warned him about.